गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस टुडे इज 22 जनवरी 2021 फ्राइडे एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद आवर करंट अफेयर्स साइड नंबर 1 सेज हियर सेकंड नीति आयोग इनोवेशन इंडेक्स कर्नाटक महाराष्ट्र तमिलनाडु टॉप 3 स्टेट्स इन इनोवेशन ओके इनोवेशन मींस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एडवांसमेंट सो दिस 3 स्टेट दैट इज कर्नाटक महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु आर टॉप इन द लिस्ट सो इंडिया इनोवेशन इंडेक्स 2020 रैंक्स the states of and union territories based on their relative performance of supporting innovation on 36 indicators telangana and kerala were other two in top 5 delhi topped among union territories and himachal pradesh among north eastern and hill states and if you look at the jharkhand chatisgarh and bihar so they were ranked at the bottom in the list a uh, slide number 2 is related to air force it says flight lieutenant bhavna kant to become first women fighter pilot to take part in republic day parade she will be a part of indian air force tabule that will showcase mockups of the light combat aircraft light combat helicopter and the sukhoi 30 fighter plane in 2016 with the avni chaturvedi and and mohana singh kant was inducted into indian air force as the first fighter pilots in 2016 and this time uh, on republic parade we are going to have the rafale jets also will be the part of the parade and next news is coming from icici bank it says in its first icici bank launches insta fx mobile app to help customer obtain forfex prepaid cards swiftly the insta fx app enables the authorized money changers who are partner of bank to complete the kyc verification and validation of customers digitally and on a real time basis icici bank for forex prepaid card gets activated swiftly within a few hours our next slide says job biden sworn in as 46th president of the united states delivers message of unity joe biden was sworn in as the 46th president of the united states kamala harris the daughter of immigrants from jamaica and india also took oath as the new vice president becoming the first woman black person and first asian american in the post our next news says moth drdo signs pact to collaborate in sustainable geo hazard management initiative will ensure safety of road users on national highways against adverse effects of landslides and other natural calamities will cooperate in planning and designing of various avalanche and landslide control structures pre facility of tunnels and video kits etc and next news says sports minister kiran riju gets additional charge of ayush ministry the temporary move was necessitated as Sripad Yesho Nayak the minister of state for the ministry of ayurveda yoga naturopathy unani siddha and homeopathy is undergoing the treatment after he met with an accident next news says india singapore sign pact on submarine rescue support at the fifth defense ministry dialogue signing of the implementing agreement on submarine rescue support and cooperation signed between the indian navy and republic of singapore navy was done both ministers expressed satisfaction at the progress of ongoing defense cooperation and engagement our defense minister is sri rajnath singh our next news says cabinet approves memorandum of understanding between india uzbekistan for cooperation in solar energy main area of work is to identify research demonstration and pilot projects between national institute of solar energy MNRE and International Solar Energy Institute Uzbekistan in mutually identified areas including the solar PV storage tech and transfer of tech Uzbekistan capital is Tashkent and currency is Uzbekistani som Okay our next news says first India EU IPR dialogue between uh, dialogue held to strengthen relation in the co-chaired meeting India provided an overview of IPR developments with an aim to meet the objectives set forth in the national ipr policy 2016 european union co-chair provided a brief overview of dg trade and the various activities being undertaken by them 
Okay, next news is coming from Bajaj Finance. It says Bajaj Finance to enter payment solution market with Bajaj Pay. Bajaj Pay will be an integrated payment platform comprising of UPI, PPI, EMI card and credit card options and will be launched in the fourth quarter of fiscal year 21. Would also be launching Bajaj Pay for Merchants app which will cater to cover uh, to cater to over 1 lakh merchants. Bajaj Finance headquarters is located in Pune and CEO of Bajaj Finance is Sanjeev Bajaj. Okay, next news is about compliance. Now what the compliance is, the meaning if I tell you meaning of compliance, compliance is actually the practice of obeying rules or requests made by people in authority. Okay, this is just a dictionary meaning of it. Let's see what it's saying here. DPIIT launches regulatory compliance portal. So portal will act as a bridge between citizens, industries and the government to minimize burdensome compliances. It will also act as a first of its kind central online repository of all central and state level compliances. DPIIT Secretary Guru Prashad Mahapatra. Next slide says MasterCard launches one stop resource site to support digital transformation of SMEs in Asia Pacific as COVID-19 drives a rapid and lasting shift to e-commerce and contactless payments the one-stop center features guides on digital transformation e-learning courses information about MasterCard products and services for SMEs cyber security insights etc okay our next news is coming from the global risks report 2021 that is the 16th edition it's insight report so the Global Risk Report 2021 World Economic Forum, it says infectious diseases, employment crisis, youth disillusionment and digital divide are among the risks to tackle in the next two years. Threats in the next five to ten years include state collapse, biodiversity loss and adverse outcomes from technological advances. The report draws upon data from Global Risk Perception Survey. Our next news is coming from Gujarat. It says Gujarat CM Vijay Rupani announces uh, Mukhya Mantri Bagayat Vikash Mission that is Horticulture Development Mission. The aim is to accelerate agriculture, horticulture and promote farming of herbal plants in infertile and fallow lands of government. It will also create employment opportunities through an increase in an export of such products and double farmers income. Gujarat's present governor is Acharya Devrath and CM is Vijay Rupani. Our next news says Indian Oil and NDMC sign Memorandum of Understanding for Development of Integrated Waste to Energy facility, Facilities at uh, uh, Rani Khera Landfill Site. The integrated plant will process approximately 2,500 million ton of municipal solid waste collected by North Delhi Municipal Corporation, recycle plastics and produce compressed biogas, ethanol, uh, same gas and other value added downstream products. Our next slide is from Madhya Pradesh. It says Madhya Pradesh takes lead in power sector reforms gets finance minister's permission uh, to mobilize rupees 1423 crore through open market borrowing state has started direct benefit transfer to electricity subsidy to farmers in one district of, from december 2020 thus it has successfully implemented one out of the three stipulated reforms in the power sector and four such sectors are stipulated by finance ministry Okay, our next slide says the cabinet approves rupees 5,281.94 crore investment for 850 megawatt rental hydropower project. Approval given to new joint venture company JVC to be incorporated between NHPC and Jammu and Kashmir State Power Development Corporation Limited with equity contribution of 51% and 49%. Government to provide grants of rupees 776.44 to JKSPDC and NHPC to invest on own. Okay. Retail HEP is located on Chenab in Kistwar district. Okay, our last slide of the day that is coming from Power Grid. It says 
पावर ग्रिड कॉरपोरेशन साइंस एग्रीमेंट विथ हिमाचल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड फॉर टेलीकॉम नेटवर्क इन हिली रिमोट एरियाज इट इज़ फॉर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर ऑफ ऑप्टिकल ग्राउंड वायर टेलीकॉम नेटवर्क दिस इज एन एडिशन टू एग्जिस्टिंग थ्री फिफ्टी किलोमीटर ऑफ ओ पी जी डब्ल्यू लेड ऑन एच पी स्टेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड लिमिटेड एक्स्ट्रा हाई वोल्टेज लाइन्स दिस एट फिफ्टी किलोमीटर लॉन्ग नेटवर्क विल एनेबल पी जी सी आई टू रिच रिमोट एरियाज So okay guys with this we have done with our today's current affairs all right and keep preparing and i hope that uh, those who are preparing for igno exam they have downloaded their uh, admit card and taken out the print out of that okay my best wishes are there ahead with whatever exam you are preparing for good luck and have a nice day